Hello everyone, this is the IFC Architect speaking, and today we are going to do the Blender BAM beginner tutorial, the step-by-step -step beginner project. Uh, this is going to be part 5, dealing with 2D layouts, basically arranging drawings on a sheet. For this, you're going to need uh, Inkscape installed. Um, I will <laughs> record a video one day that will show you how to do that, but for now there are millions of videos online that can show you how to install Inkscape. It's a free and open source tool, just like everything else we've used, so it shouldn't cost you a cent. Um, if you haven't watched the previous videos, that's okay. Uh, you can download the this file in the description on the OSOC uh, community thread. Um, but otherwise, there are four parts dealing with modeling, 2D drafting, uh, section, and detail, um, if you want to check those out. Anyway, okay, cool. Let's get going. To install BlenderBim or Blender, check the installation videos in the description. Please update your BlenderBim to the latest build I am using found on my channel about page. My layout very simply has the properties on the right hand side and the outliner on the left hand side. Please make sure that you've got your snaps enabled which just allow you to easily um, model things and move them around and make sure that your move gizmo, this little object here, is uh, selected. Control Z, Control Z. You can follow what I'm doing with screencast keys in the bottom left. Okay cool, let's get started. Okay, we're getting on to finally the layout portion with Inkscape. But first we're gonna start in Blenderbum. I'm just picking up from the detail video. If you haven't watched that, you can just download the file from below in the, the links in the description. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to every single um, drawing and we're just gonna make sure it's printed. So I'm gonna go to the plan and I'm just gonna say create drawing. It's going to print it. I'm gonna go to the E section uh, I'm just going to make sure this is, I'm going to make it 1 to 50, I think it's fine. I'm going to say create drawing. I'm going to go to the waist elevation. We're just going to print that. The drawing is created. And we're going to go to the detail that we made. And there's our drawing. Okay, so we've got every drawing printed. And then what we're going to do is here where it says sheets, we're just going to click on this load sheets button. And we're just going to make an A3 sheet. And I'm going to say... Um, add sheet over here. Then we're just going to tap this arrow, this down arrow, and with each um, drawing selected, we're just going to click this add drawing to sheet button. So you can see they're being added, and you can add drawings to multiple sheets. This isn't Revit. <laughs> and that's it. We've just got four drawings. And then what you want to do is you're going to say create sheets, and you can see it's loaded everything onto this beautiful mess. <laughs> Okay, basically what you want to do is you want to come here to your sheets um, file, which is inside of your Blender BIM add-on. So it's here in your user and then app data, roaming, uh, Blender foundation, then Blender, then the version of Blender you're using, uh, the scripts, add-ons, Blender BIM, BIM data sheets. Okay, and you can see our sheet is there, zero, zero. And what you need to do is for this, you need to have Inkscape um, installed. So what you're going to say is you're going to say open with Inkscape and then Inkscape is going to load and then you can see it's been loaded so we're just going to say control plus control roll uh, roll your mouse wheel and it can be loaded and we're just going to select each drawing and bring them out you can see there is our um, <clears throat> there is our detail I'm also going to come here to layers and objects you can see each one is a drawing Here's our detail, here's our section, that's our plan, Ooh, control Z, that's not our plan, <laughs> that is our uh, layout, which I'm just going to lock there, here's our plan, which I'm just going to move over there, and then the last drawing is our, our elevation there, okay cool. So there's a few things. I'm just going to adjust the plan so it's in the corner there. And then I'm going to put the detail down here, I think. I think I'm going to put it there. Put my one elevation there. I'm going to put the section there and I'm going to put the elevation here. I'm going to bring that up. And we're going to bring this one up, select both of them and shift them to the side. And then the detail I'm going to just bring over 
to the side as well over here over there over there makes sense okay cool and then you can see there are two images per item so the the top one is the um tag basically so you can see it just says notification name scale so that gets informed when you print it properly so if we select eight and then you just have to select the actual tag and we can just adjust it so it's closer to the actual drawing so i'm just going to adjust this so it sits there i think that's good and you can see our our site terrain here has been printed so we're going to exclude that in a second i'm just going to select this guy we're going to go to 26 and we're going to grab that and maybe put it there and then I'm just going to say, select this guy here. Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing there. Just going to make sure I've got it correct. Select 14. Maple. 14. And then we're going to just adjust it there. And I'm going to adjust this um, hatch pattern so that I'm going to adjust the site so that there's less hatch. And then I've just moved this up and I'm just going to select the tag again and move it up. Okay, cool. It looks okay. So what we need to do is we're just going to save that. So we've saved the layout basically, but it gets printed still through Blender BIM. So if we go to Blender BIM and we say create sheets again, you can see now everything is in its appropriate space. So for some reason, when it creates it like this, um, it displays the view incorrectly and doesn't um, cut it sometimes. Like you can see this wall's extending way past it's <laughs> where it should, um, but that gets sorted in Inkscape when you save it as a PDF. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna see, we just wanna exclude, we're gonna perhaps adjust these two sections. The one is the section, one is the detail. And then we're gonna exclude the uh, the terrain from there and the terrain from here and we're also going to um, change the size of the terrain there. I think that's going to work out. So we're going to go here, go back to Blender BIM and we're going to go to My Story Plan. We're going to select the drawing. We're going to say Tab. This is just a, a representation of it. So I'm going to pull it in. I'm going to say GY 300, pull it in, and I'm just going to say GY to there, minus 650. Okay, and then we're going to select the section here, and I'm going to line it up with the with the grid line, and I'm going to tab out, and then I'm going to select this and I'm going to exclude it from the camera. So when, it, when it's selected and I go to object properties, you can see it's called, IFC, it's an IFC geographic element and it's called site. So what we need to do is we select the camera. We, I'm going to collapse everything we don't need. I'm going to go to object metadata and we're going to go to attributes, not attributes, sorry. <laughs> we're going to go to um, object property sets. And then in here, the EP set, uh, underscore annotation we're just going to say enable editing and then here where it says exclude I'm just going to make this bigger so you can see it we're going to say dot um, IFC geographic elements um, square bracket name equals um, quotation mark site quotation mark square bracket close um, so that's basically how you list something when you want to exclude it or include it and then we're just going to say tick and I'm just going to, you have to, to refresh it, you need to uh, print the drawing again. So if I, if I clicked the create sheets button now, you can see nothing's changed in the, um, in the drawing here. So what you need to do is you need to go to my story plan. You need to click create drawing and you can see those elements have changed. And these are overlapping a little bit. So I'm going to change it so that it's not overlapping, but you can see our site has been excluded from the drawing. So I'm just going to quickly, I'm just going to hide the site and I'm going to quickly edit the section. So I'm going to say GY, so it's a little bit out the way. And I'm going to say GY minus 500, so it's a little bit out the way. And then we're just going to say 
print again and you can see that's legible so this is the drawing number this two and then this is the uh, sheet number that it's on so we can see it's on a sheet there so when I click um, create sheets you can see it's been updated and it's removed the, the site so I'm gonna go back and edit this position so I'm gonna pull it down so it, it this can be on the sheet itself but we're still gonna edit these other two so the next one I'm gonna go to is the waist elevation uh, that I want to edit so I'm gonna come here we're gonna go back and find our geographic element and what we're going to do is we're going to exclude it again from this camera. So we're going to go here. It's the object data, object properties, sorry. <laughs> IFC object metadata, IFC object property sets. And then we're going to edit, enable editing PSET. We're going to pop that same uh, formula into the exclude. And we're going to click tick. And then our ground line is obviously going to disappear. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a line and we are just going to rotate it in the x direction 90 and press g and just say gy and bring it to the end and then we just need to print this drawing again so now we have a line for our ngl and then we're going to print our create sheets and you can see that's sorted out um, our extra lines in the elevation so the last thing we want to edit is the section so here I just want to make this half the size basically so I'm going to go into 3d I'm going to say tab I'm going to press 3 so I can select faces and then I'm going to say GZ so it's 2000 deep so I'm just gonna make it 1000 and press tab to get out of that we're going to come down to um, object dots properties and say update representation then I'm going to go back into the section and I'm just going to adjust the camera so that it doesn't exclude, it doesn't cut off. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to turn my snaps back on and then we're going to print this section, create drawing. There we go. And then we're going to come back to the sheets and say create sheets. And there we can see it's a bit neater. So I'm going to adjust this again in Inkscape. So I'm going to go back to Inkscape and all i need to do is you can see it's been updated <laughs> isn't that amazing um i'm just going to take these and i'm going to adjust them slightly so that they all fit we're going to take that and we're going to bring it down and then we're going to take this guy and give him a bit more space and this guy as well maybe yeah no he, he's still gonna sit there <laughs> just gonna line him up there and then we're just gonna say file save it's gonna save it and then we're gonna come back here and we're just going to say create sheets again and you can see it's been saved and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna right click here and we're gonna say save as and then in our downloads we're just going to say save it it's saved as an svg we are going to open the file we'll bring it here and then we're going to open this um, saved svg with inkscape as well this is no longer a live file this is a printed file and you can see this guy hasn't quite been um, cut properly so if we have an issue like we do here for the detail where it's not being cut properly then what we need to do is to use an Inkscape tool. So I'm just going to grab the rectangle, make sure I've got that image selected, the correct layer, yeah. And then I'm just going to draw a rectangle around the detail, roughly where I want it to be cut, clipped, basically that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the select tool, which is an S with the hotkey. So I'm going to select the shape, then I'm going to select the detail in the layer, and then I'm going to right click, and I'm going to say set clip, and you can see that it's been clipped correctly. Yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to save this SVG, and then you're going to save as, 
and that's going to save it as a portable document format. You can see I've already done it, so I'm just going to save and make sure that you don't have rasterized effects checked and that your DPI is set to 300. Yeah. And then just say OK. And then I'm going to say replace. And then I'm going to check in the downloads folder and double click the PDF. And there you can see we have a perfectly good printable PDF. That's everything. Thank you so much. That concludes the step-by-step -step beginners project. I initially did this so that um, if you wanted to introduce somebody to Blenderbim, or if you were trying to learn Blenderbim and get something out of it, I thought this could be good. There's, it's a series of videos where you have the resources and you can figure out how to create a full project. And you can do this on any scale with any tools. Um, this is an entirely open source workflow. Uh, besides maybe Windows, <laughs> um, but it's very powerful and I really hope you share it with a lot of people. Um, I've decided that I'm not going to do any more series like this where it's a step-by-step -step because it's it was supposed to be three videos and then it became five because things take much longer than you expect. Um, but in the future when I just tackle um, uh, topics, then I'm just going to do them as standalone videos and I'll just say whether I've used a resource from this series or the previous videos um, yeah and just remember that everything you see in the videos um, you can download if you go to the OSR community page um, so you can check with a file that's working uh, what's happening and you can experiment so please just download those share them with people um, IFC files are incredibly efficient so they're kilobytes big um, this file I think is a few kilobytes big so please take it experiment and enjoy uh, if you found that interesting or useful, you can check out more at the OSARC community page. This was made using Blender, the Blender BIM add-on, which is powered by the IFC OpenShell, and the community that we're involved in is the OSARC community. I will provide links in the description, and you can check other videos to follow along. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.